Hi dear students, welcome to Gan Medwan Academy. Ajiro a session dere ame CPT English ta previous year question ko detail bahare analyzed kariwa. Aso session ko detail analyzed kari question ko solve kariwa. First question, what is Alexandrine? Alexandrine is a poetic device in English poetry. Alexandrine is a line of words that consisting of six iambic feet so the right answer will be option number c a line of six iambic feet occasionally used in heroic affairs question number two identify the writer who first used blank verse so uh, earl of Surrey first used blank verse in english literature then question number three christopher marlowe wrote all the following plays except christopher marlowe wrote all the following plays except richard the third richard the third is a play by uh, richard the third is a play written by <coughs> william shakespeare okay the next question arrange the following in the chronological order If we solved this kind of questions, we need to remember the year of publications of all the works that have in the options. So, right answer will be option number A. But uh, we need to uh, remember all the year of publications. So, uh, a reliquins of ancient English poetry, which is published in 1765. Okay, and then uh, French Revolution, French Revolution, uh, which year? Uh, 1700, 1700. 89 to 1799 1799 in between 1789 to 1799 uh, French Revolution then after vindication of right of women that is for year of publication vindication of for uh, uh, right a woman in 1792 if you do not uh, remember the year of publication then you cannot attend that kind of questions and lyrical ballad which is published in the year of 1798 one more thing you need to remember that uh, lyrical ballad have uh, uh, three edition. First edition that I shared that first edition 1798. Second edition 1800. Third edition is uh, 1800. 02 okay and the right answer of this question will be a then next question tradition according to Eliot implies that uh, right answer will be d which of the following is not characteristic of the Victorian age, characteristic of Victorian age, which is not a characteristic of Victorian age, then question number D is the right answer. Find the odd one among the Marxist critic below. Odd one, the Marxist critic. Not through the fire. Because George Lucas, because George Lucas. Uh, 
is the uh, founder of western Marx, marxism and his work uh, you may uh, remember that uh, soul and uh, form and another work is very important uh, that is the young hegel and question number 8 how does the pattern of geoffrey chaucer's the canterbury tales relate to the other pilgrimages in the prologue the right answer will be uh, b option number b spencer's amority spencer's amority is dash spencer's amority is basically is a, a collection of his love poem and amority uh, it is a sonnet cycle of edmund spencer's the sonnet describes is that sonnet describes his eventual marriage to elizabeth boyle and amority consists of 89 amority consists of 89 sonnets you have to remember okay then question number 10 in the sun rising by john don who is of the following adjective is used to describe the sun right option will be d all the adjective that uh, john describe in the poem question number 11 the life of john don considered with the rain sorry here the time mistake rain this is not uh, the spelling of that rain r e i g n rain the right option the right answer will be option number a then come to the next question identify the speaker of the following quote one is not born but rather becomes woman who said this is the statement by simon de beauvoir simon simon de beauvoir quoted from his book second sex second sex which is published in 1949 this is the opening line of the book and uh, the second sex the second sex uh, has two of books you need to remember that the second sex uh, divided into how many books second sex divided into two books okay then question number 13 which of the following are correct about the third wave feminism this is correct correct answer will be option number option number c 2 3 and 4 only third wave of feminism third wave of feminism is a uh, feminist movement that began in the early 19 early 90s so it is greatly focused on reproductive right for women in the next question the purpose of a dash is to present one idea this questions may have came from your generic elective but the right answer will be <coughs> paragraph question number c sorry option number c and question number 15 dash in the academic writing reference refers or uh, two year reasons for writing right option will be purpose 
thank you in this way we have complete uh, 15 questions then in the next part we will discuss the next 15 questions so thank you and stay tuned for the next video